Hey guys, so today's video is going to be basically like a competition between two concealers. So I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers and then I also have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. This is from what I was talking about on my Vegas vlog and haul video. I just bought some NARS concealer and a lot of people have told me that it's very similar to the Maybelline one. So I figured I would do like a swatch comparison on my under eyes. That way we could see which one is actually better. For me, the best type of concealer that works is something that has like a beige or a pink undertone because that will help cancel out any like bluish or purple uh, that you have around your eyes. And I don't have like really dark, like bluish circles under my eyes. Um, but what I do have is like, it's actually like a, uh, sunken in so even John makes fun of me in the morning because I'll wake up and he says it looks like I slept in goggles which is really funny but it's kind of sad at the same time but even right now it's maybe my lighting is weird but you can see like on this side it's definitely like around uh area but it's more like actually sunken in as opposed to being like bluish purple or dark um, but I know a lot of people have very dark under eyes and they look for a good concealer to cancel that out. So the NARS concealers that I have, um, I have two colors. So I have Honey, which is light three, and this is more of a pink undertone. And then I also have Custard, which is medium one. And this one's definitely more of like a highlighting kind of color for me. Although I do see a lot of people on YouTube using this as um, a concealer and a brightener. So they put it all right here. Um, so I probably won't be using custard today because it just won't work with what I've got going on. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Concealers and the colors that I have are 15 which is fair. And I think this one might actually end up being a little too light for me. Um, they didn't have really like any shades at the drugstore that I went to. So this is number 15 and it's fair with a pink undertone. And then I have number 10 which is light and this one also has a pink undertone. But I'm gonna do one on each eye so that way we can see the difference and then I'm gonna end up zooming in even though I don't want to. <laughs> so that way you guys can really see. Um, I swatched them on my hand earlier but I haven't actually tried either one of these on the under eye area yet. So this will be kind of like a first impression video too. So obviously I don't have any makeup on right now besides my eyebrows. Just that way, like, I don't have anything distracting from the concealer competition. So the first thing, obviously price point, definitely Maybelline takes the cake on that one. NARS is $29, Maybelline is between five and seven. So clearly this one wins. Packaging, they look very similar. This one does have a higher quality feel, but I mean, that doesn't really matter to a lot of people. And then they both have the same or similar applicator. It's like a, a lip gloss kind of applicator. So it's like the exact same thing. I think the NARS one is just a little bit larger. Now we're just, I guess, gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna start with the Maybelline one. So when I put on concealer, I typically like to focus it more like on the inner corner like that. And then I will buff it out towards the outer edge because I have more darkness on the inner corner. All right, so as I'm looking at it right now, it's very creamy looking. It actually looks like a pretty good. I don't know, should I blend these both out at the same time? Maybe I'll do that. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. And then this is Honey from NARS. So I'm not sure, I think you guys can see it, but Honey definitely has a lot more um, like melon in it, more of like a salmon undertone. So it definitely has more pink and a little bit less neutral. And now I'm gonna go ahead and buff it in and I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline side. Okay, so there's that one, and it definitely covers pretty well. And now I'm going to buff out the NARS side. Okay, so I can really see, like, right after I buffed it in, the NARS is, like, a lot darker than... The Maybelline one. Okay, so I just zoomed in a little bit more and honestly, I don't really see much of a difference besides the color. Um, the NARS one is definitely like not the right shade for me. It's a little bit too dark and it's even, it says it's light, so I'm not sure 
but the dealio is there. Okay, so here's even closer. <laughs> in case you guys wanted me to get closer. I don't really see much of a difference besides the color. The Maybelline Fit one is actually pretty good. I'm actually kind of impressed with the coverage that it has. And then the NARS one is just like, looks like I spread cantaloupe all over my eyeball or something. So the next test is just gonna be adding a setting powder to it um, just to see how it responds. I'm using the Ben Nye Cameo Powder with a e.l.f. small tapered brush. This one is awesome for setting underneath your eyes. Okay, and now I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna come back in like 15 minutes and let you guys know what it looks like after it's kind of like set. Okay, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes since I added the um, setting powder around my eyes and I'm just checking back in and it actually looks like the Maybelline one is doing a little bit less creasing than the NARS one, which I'm kind of surprised by. It looks like the NARS one kind of built up a little bit more around my drier areas. I mean, it's also a lot easier to see because this color is just not working for me at all, but it looks like the Maybelline one kind of worked a little bit better with my drier skin. So I guess overall, I probably would not say, and this actually hurts saying this, but um, you're probably just as well off buying the Maybelline one as you are the NARS one just because it's, I mean, the coverage is very similar. I feel like the Maybelline one is a little bit uh, more forgiving around drier areas, especially once I put a setting powder on top of it. And it's also a lot cheaper. So even though I love NARS more than a lot of things, um, I'm actually gonna have to vote for Maybelline this time, which is uh, surprising. But I think it did a really good job. And I also think Maybelline has a pretty good range of colors. Typically they're out of stock of most of the popular shades. So you might be better off investigating it online and buying it online from like Target or something. If you guys have any more requests for other types of like high-end versus low-end products, Make sure you let me know in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.